With General Pipe Cleaner's Cold Shot Pipe Freeze Kit, you don't have to drain water lines, sprinkler systems, or hot water systems before cutting pipe or tubing. It keeps a fully pressurized system operating while you make repairs. The Cold Shot can freeze liquids in steel, copper, cast iron, and PVC pipes ranging from 1 8 inch to 2 inches in diameter. It uses liquid carbon dioxide, or CO2, from a dip tube type cylinder that flows through the freeze head to form dry ice at temperatures of minus 110 degrees Fahrenheit. CO2 cylinders can be found at any welding supply house. The cold shot is easy to use. Just clamp the freeze heads onto the pipe, attach the hoses, and open the cylinder valve. Liquid CO2 flows into the freeze head. It's so cold, it forms an ice pack in the pipe that can withstand 7,000 PSI. In five minutes, you'll be ready to go to work on half-inch copper tubing, or in just three minutes if you're working on cast iron pipe. The cold shot works faster than refrigerator type units and is more compact and less expensive as well. It's faster and uses less CO2 than bag type pipe freezers because the freeze head makes a better seal around the pipe. The cold shot freeze kit includes 10 sets of freeze heads to handle jobs in 8 inch through 2 inch diameter lines. Freeze heads, hoses, and all the parts you need are included in a compact carrying case. Save time, money, and headaches with General's Cold Shot. It's a cool idea. This video provides a general overview of the operating instructions and safety procedures for using General's Cold Shot Pipe Freeze Kit. This video does not include a complete list of all of the recommended safety procedures and does not provide specific instructions for every application. Disregarding any of the safety procedures while using the cold shot can result in serious personal injury or damage to the equipment. Remember these safety rules as you operate the system. Be sure to wear safety goggles to protect your eyes from spray and debris. Wear gloves to protect your hands. Temperatures can reach minus 110 degrees. Never touch the freeze heads or pipe with your bare hands. Work only in a well-ventilated area. Operate in open spaces where there is adequate oxygen and where carbon dioxide will not build up. Do not over-tighten freeze heads. CO2 sputter from the freeze heads is normal. If excess gas cannot escape, the freeze head could shatter. Do not hit a chilled freeze head with a hammer to remove it from a pipe. A sharp blow could cause it to fracture. Be sure to read the complete instruction manual before operating the cold shot. If you have questions, call the drain brains at General. The cold shot uses liquid CO2. Cylinders are commercially available at welding supply houses. The CO2 cylinder must have a dip tube, which allows liquid, rather than gas, to flow through the hoses and form dry ice inside the freeze heads. To begin, place the CO2 cylinder with a dip tube in a vertical position near the pipe to be repaired. Secure it to prevent it from falling over. Screw the T distributor onto the cylinder using a right-hand thread and secure with a wrench. Screw the spiral hoses onto the T distributor. If only one freeze head is needed, Use the locking nut to close off the other half of the T-distributor. Choose the freeze head that corresponds to the size of the pipe to be frozen. Place the freeze head on the pipe and secure it by tightening the knob evenly, using the hex wrench provided, for a firm but not over-tight hold. Warning! Do not over-tighten the freeze head. Gas must be able to escape during the freezing process. If excess gas cannot escape, the freeze head could explode. Push the injector into the freeze head completely, then turn clockwise a quarter turn to lock it in place. 
The freeze heads should be positioned at least 12 inches apart from each other. Water in the pipe can only be frozen if it is no longer flowing. All pumps and valves must be turned off and no water allowed to escape from the pipe. Allow the water to cool to room temperature before freezing. To start the freeze process, fully open the CO2 cylinder valve. The amount of CO2 required is controlled automatically. The liquid CO2 expands in the injector and forms dry ice inside the freeze head at a temperature of minus 110 degrees, freezing the water inside the pipe. CO2 sputtering from the freeze heads is normal. After a period of time, frost will begin to form on the pipe in the vicinity of the freeze heads. Freezing times and the amount of CO2 needed for a job can vary depending on the type of pipe, diameter of the pipe, type of liquid in the pipe, temperature of the water in the line, and the ambient air temperature. If frost does not form within a time given in the table in the instruction manual, then the water in the pipe is still flowing, or the water is too warm. Check that all pumps and valves are turned off. While repair work is in progress, the flow of CO2 must be maintained. If you need to change cylinders, you should complete the exchange of cylinders within seven minutes to prevent the ice pack from melting. Once repair work is complete, close the cylinder valve and wait until the pressure in the spiral hoses has returned to normal. After the ice pack has melted, carefully unscrew and remove the injector from the freeze head. Then remove the freeze head from the pipe. For additional information about General's Cold Shot Freeze Kit, read the complete instruction manual. If you have questions, you can always call the Drain Brains at General. General Pipe Cleaners, the toughest tools down the line.